if you want to deploy your application on the server this series is for you if you are watching it for the hostinger or the godaddy or some any of the other shared hosting so this video is for you in this video you will learn that how you can deploy your application on the server how you can connect it with your database how you can execute the custom commands you can run the commands php artisan or how you can run the composer commands on the server so this is complete guide i am resuming the hostinger series i should it five videos and now i'm going to resume this and if you learn that how you can connect the ftp ftp how you can create the database subdomain and so on things we can watch this full course okay uh, so let's get started so i have logged in here my hostinger account and i'm going to create a new subdomain here okay let me name this so laravel demo something like this laravel demo with the custom domain after the public uh, html i want to add this into the uh, cdl cdl projects i want to place this into the cdl projects and then i want to create a directory of laravel demo and then uh, i want to load my subdomain from this public directory if you will create this uh, uh, without the public directory then you need to open your uh, laravel demo uh, slash public something like then your website will be opened right so if you don't want to write public here so simply add this public here right so this will load your uh, website from this public directory not from the root directory okay and then simply click on this create okay so this one is uh, created here this one is our domain so let me also open this into the new tab so later on we will uh, review it and this would be created here so let me go to the uh, files here file manager so here i'm going to access the files of my one my project and this one is a by default uh, page of this hostinger okay uh, just go to this public directory cdl projects and here i'm going to visit this laravel demo which contain a public directory and this contain a default which is added uh, added by hostinger so i'm going to also delete this public because my laravel application contain a public directory okay it's deleted now i have this interviews application where i'm conducting the interviews uh, uh, of um, uh, cdl where i'm shooting this for the educational purposes how you can present yourself in the interview so i uh, almost did the three to five interviews and maybe later on i will uh, resume this series so you can apply it uh, through this domain so let me tell you that how you can apply on that so let's go here open the cdl cdl cell.com this is our official website and then uh, you can find the careers tab and in the career tab you can click on this interview and you will be landed on our interviews page right at this time this apply is enabled but there is no date where you can apply so i will add the proper date whenever you will apply so this will contain the previous Right. for now you can't apply but later on i will turn this on when i will resume it again okay uh, so i have here this one contain an empty directory and i'm going to go to this interview app i have make a zip file of this one which contain dot zip file right so let me drag this here into my this folder okay and yes it's uploading here you can see its progress by expanding this out okay this one is uploading and make sure to upload the dot zip file i think this uh, doesn't support the others like uh, what are the other extension let me review it from here if i you know, add to archive so there are rar so it doesn't support this rar this one is also rar and this one is the zip so you can zip this uh, all files by marking them all on this add to archive and set the name and then click on this zip and press ok so then this will be created so i already did this behind the scene because i want to save your time 
okay it's still in the progress and i want to create a database for it right so just go here and open the database section database click on this management where i'm going to create a new database so here just type the laravel demo and make sure to enter the same name as your application have so this will help you in future when uh, you will review it after six months we will know that this one is the database of laravel demo application right okay i'm going to generate a dummy password and i'm going to save this into the notepad i will access this later just click on this create uh, create button database name is not valid maximum 25 character uh, 25 character long hmm. and use only alphanumeric okay alphanumeric uh, let me do this something like this also in the demo here so now this will be created okay great this one is created successfully and here i'm going to uh, copy its uh, name so it will be the same username and the database name i'm going to open this into the new tab here here you can run your migrations right if you have migration and you want to seed the data using the command so don't worry i will execute those commands here but if you want to uh, import your database simply select this database and click on this import and here you can choose your file from here right but i'm going to uh, execute the command using the uh, using the ssh access so you will also learn that how you can execute the ssh okay so this one is still in the progress and our database is created our credentials are here right and what the server name you need to specify so i will tell you in a minute when this will be completed so let's wait for a moment okay our application is successfully uploaded and now i'm going to extract this so how you can extract this simply click on this right click on this and click on this extract so here you need to specify your folder in which folder you want to extract it right and make sure if you want to uh, do it in the same directory like uh, in the laravel demo i want to extract all the files so here simply type uh, here dot and then click on this extract so then this will extract the all files in the same directory right otherwise it will create another directory so your domain path is different so you need to move your files into the laravel demo so that's why you need to do it in the same directory and yes we have public uh, folder which contain our index file okay great for now our application should work but uh, we haven't set up our database so maybe uh, it's loading the home page which contain the need the database credential so it will throw the database exception and yes database isn't connected right so our application is successfully deployed it's working fine but we need to set up our env credentials right so i'm going to set up these env credentials in the next video and i will also uh, i'm going to uh, create my database using the migration and i'm going to use the ssh to uh, create the migration so stay tuned for the next video i'll meet you in the next one bye bye